You ever wonder what it might be like to design the look and feel of your own smartphone and have it arrive at your door just as you'd built it online? Well, we got a feel for what that's like using Motomaker here at Pocket Now last week, and Taylor Martin's unit came in a couple days ago, and I just woke up to this unit on my front porch. We're going to unbox the Moto X I designed on my very own, see how it came out, and hopefully give you a feel for what it's like to open up your own customized smartphone. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Let's get to it. So we've got a pretty good feel of what it's like to unbox the Moto X in general from our standard unboxing and the full review and all the rest of our Moto X coverage. But as a reminder, this is the device. I'm going to slice it open as I speak here. By the way, it's not often you get to do this in an unboxing. It's not often that it's, it's shrink wrapped uh, right from the factory. This was put together in Fort Worth. Uh, the difference, as I was saying in this unboxing, is that this was designed by me using Motorola's customized, uh, customizable, customization laden, whatever, uh, Moto Maker software, which let me choose my colors, my trim colors, and stuff. We had an editorial about it last week. I should read this first before I even turn the power on. I wonder what that is all about. And this is uh, all about uh, new phone. Oh, okay, right. This is about porting your number in and all that kind of stuff. That makes sense. Makes sense. Well, you, you got to find out what you got to have. You got to make sure you got the, all the right things to have. I'm very tired. All right. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Just, just ready to pop open there. Ooh, I'm actually quite excited. The review unit was black uh, and kind of like unremarkable. And but this one will not be that. Oh, let me show you the back plate first. This is my royal blue Moto X, my own design, if you will. Some of you will find it very ugly. Others, who I have more in common with, will like it. Uh, this is a royal blue backplate. There would be some engraving here if I had been braver, but I decided to go sans engraving. Uh, Taylor Martin's unit is engraved if you want to see that. Now that we've got the box out of the way, we can actually take a look at the unit. You see the yellow trim on the camera bezel there. That yellow trim is also duplicated on the volume keys. And I decided to go for a white faceplate instead of the black, uh, figuring that the black would clash with blue, and hopefully I made the right decision there. It is interesting, first of all, it's interesting how this unit looks with gunner optics on. Let's go ahead and take those off. And uh, now we, I can actually see there's not much contrast between the, the yellow and the white. Um, but boy, it really pops nicely and the, this feel, I was worried about the back cover feeling different uh, considering it lacks that, that weave finish, but it doesn't. It's just as nice. The soft touch is wonderful. The dimple is perfect and it feels very, very comfortable to hold in the hand. We'll get a wider view here. We'll go ahead and power the unit on for the first time. And as it powers on, we'll go ahead and peel our screen protector off. There that went. And it can wait, folks. I was about to say drinking and driving. Well, that's a really bad idea, too. Uh, texting and driving, though. That uh, that can wait. Wow. It's interesting. Okay, do not change your device's orientation while it's booting. It will become confused. Just holding the device in your hand and kind of giving it a spin around for the first time, it's, it's, it's unlike any other uh, experience, not necessarily because of the colors or the options and stuff, although there were many, and I do like the colors I chose, but because you know that you, you're stuck with this. <laughs> you're not going to be able to change this with a casing or a skin. I mean, you could probably do a skin, but it wouldn't look very good. Uh, you know, or anything like that. I mean, these are the colors you've chosen for two years, so you really better like them. I know that I like the blue. I like the yellow. I wish that I had had more than two choices for the faceplate, because I'm not sure I love this the white faceplate on this device. But uh, aside from that mild bit of concern, I think I would be pretty happy to open up the box to find a phone like this because I like my own design so there really just a quick look at a customized Moto X royal blue yellow accents on the buttons and a white faceplate folks do you love it do you hate it would you have done something differently would you have done everything differently most importantly do you have questions about the process well, that is what we're here for. Please drop us a line down below, but we hope you've enjoyed this quick look at our customized Moto X at Pocket Now. Folks, our Moto X coverage continues through device release and beyond. So if you want to check out our comparisons, features, and our full review of the Moto X, you can do that here on YouTube 
and at pocketnow.com. But before you go anywhere, please do toss us a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment down below if you have something to say. Follow us on social media so you don't miss anything. And stay tuned for the next video. It's coming very soon. Once again, I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.